that you dreamed it be Ending up here in Hello and welcome to Stay With Stacy And Rickers uh, But uh, apparently riding with Rickers gave the channel the, the wrong impression So we went with Stay With Stacy My name is Stacy and this is Rickers we are two teachers from Bloemfontein with a, a big love for the wildlife and for the big outdoors. And we have decided to, to try our hand at, uh, at vlogging. And we already know that uh, our first few are going to be funny and questionable. questionable. <laughs> and we are going to question our decision to do this. <laughs> but we are going to keep on keeping on. <laughs> we are going to keep trying until we get this right. So how the love for the bush and wildlife started for me was um, when I can't remember the first time I went to the bush, it, I was in diapers, I was very, very young. Um, my family has a big passion for the bush and wildlife. Uh, my one brother is a wildlife photographer, very cool. And my other one, um, other brother is, um, or he studied game ranch management. So he's also got a big passion for the wildlife. Um, my parents, Every holiday, instead of going to the sea, we would go to the bush. We were that family that always went to the bush. Um, I don't regret it for one moment not going to the sea. And um, yeah, I learned so much in the bush, which, which I'm really grateful for. We've had a lot of fond family memories, fighting over birds, um, really lots of fond memories. Um, absolutely love the bush. Um, so I always knew I needed to get somebody that love the bush as much as I do um, and yeah and then she got me <laughs> who actually never went to the bush to be honest uh, for the first time uh, I think in grade 6 I went to a national park here in South Africa we went to Ad of Elephant Park and as a typical 12 year 13 year old boy or uh, uh, at that time uh, the wildlife to you is, is an elephant, a lion and maybe a fish eagle and that was it. So if you didn't see that then the drive was boring or the day was boring. Um, so that was my mindset when, about the bush. I love the bush because um, like growing up in South Africa um, everyone loves the bush and loves being outdoors and loves to braai. But, but mainly just the big stuff. You want to see a lion and a yeah, leopard and an elephant you and you're see, not bothered about the rest. Definitely. And I had exactly the same mentality um, six years later when I went to the National Kruger National Park for the first time in Matric. So, and still I went to it with a mindset of just want to see the big stuff. You want to see the things you take easy photographs of or that impresses everyone. Yeah, so a year later uh, I met Stacy or Stacy met me or we met each other. <laughs> and uh, we, we actually became good friends at the, at the, at the specific, specific time. And at the end of the year, of, of our first year at Varsity, we, we went on a trip to a, to a to brother. My brother. He stayed at a game farm in Hootspreit on the Willyfans River. So he, they farmed with buffalo. And we, when we went to the Kruger for the first time, uh, Stacy and I, I literally almost called a chappy fact because everything we saw, she was able to tell me something that I did not know. Uh, not just okay this is an elephant this is a baby elephant whatever but this is a name all the small things the collective nouns for animals the little birds a different type of birds I was yeah I was actually in shock and I had a bit of an information overload when we left the park that day or I, after a few days yeah I, we've had years of experience so this isn't just like one year, year that I learned all this knowledge about the bush I mean I've been going to the bush since I was in diapers, like I said. Um, so every year you would learn something different and learn about tracks and learn interesting facts about the different animals. Um, so it's years of knowledge that you have built up. Um, which so, he dumped on me. Which I dumped on day. him in one day. But he loves learning. He loves learning. He's, he's one of those those nerds that love learning. He's, he's that guy. Um, so I don't think he minded. <laughs> and he was like, okay, I'm going to beat you. So now he knows more about birds and wildlife than me, I'm sure. I do. I really do. Um, <laughs> but I think I'm also a bit Humble. more. I'm also a bit more obsessed at the moment because every, obsessed with birds every at the opportunity I get to go and uh, to go outside and, and photograph a bird, whether it was something I saw 
10 minutes ago but it's in a different environment a different setting or doing something different i want to go and grab the camera and just and just run as, as we sit here at the moment we are about three days away from a proper kruger trip and uh, this is where, why we're actually doing this vlog at the moment yeah. we're going to do our, our first vlogging trip and i know through the kruger through the kruger from top to bottom bottom to top bottom top but starting in the middle yeah. um, it's gonna be an interesting trip but we'll show you what's happening every day and maybe just share with you a bit about the bush if you've never been to South Africa if you've never been to the bush um, check it out uh, we're not professionals no. but we are trying so we know there's a lot of of Kruger vlogs or Kruger videos on we've YouTube. watched all of them we believe have, me <laughs> and that's not an exaggeration we have literally no. watched every single Kruger <laughs> every single. video vlog camp review you name it we've watched it the whole idea is they gave us a lot of inspiration and they are they are professionals but we are going to try our hand at this and just to take you on a trip with us through the Kruger showing you how I want to call it normal people but just people you're with, av your average Joe your average Joe, Joe and Jane <laughs> yeah. Going stay, through, stay with Stacy stay with Stacy <laughs> uh, it's traveling through the bush um, what normal people do how, how they do a Kruger trip without very expensive kit uh, without all the wool, uh, bells and whistles that you, you use to go to the bush just a normal trip and we'll, uh, we'll inform you later of where we're going from which camp well, I can tell you so far our first night or our first day is going to be in the open camp in the open area um, a beautiful area I've never stayed there Stacy mm -hmm. has stayed there before um, on this trip there's actually a lot of firsts for us to be honest but we'll tell it to you as well later yes. Um, very 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 excited so stay tuned um, <laughs> and we've got some exciting things we will be there for um, Christmas my birthday and New Year's, and New Year's so and celebrations in the Kruger okay, so we go to the Kruger very often well not just to the Kruger to a few national parks but um, the Kruger is one where we will go back to time after time after time um, and we love going in the summer so we always get some questions from friends and family and so on about why why the Kruger why would you go to the Kruger in the summer isn't it very hot um, my first response usually is why not why not um, any time of the year it's fine so I personally feel the summer is one of my favorite times to go to the Kruger I feel if you do it right it's also nice um, all the birds are back from migration so Ooh. it's amazing to go to the Kruger with all the bird sounds the Woodlands Kingfisher yeah, is one of our favorite sounds and that you don't hear in the winter I think um, driving into into the Kruger and hearing the sound of a Woodlands Kingfisher you just realize that, that okay just, yeah, you, I'm home I'm you're home. in the Kruger so that's that's the sound of the Kruger the in sound my of the Kruger definitely. you you go to sleep with it you wake up with it yeah I, um, you also hear the spur fowls and the, and the Franklins and the, the guinea fowl. They make that's that's quite that's your your clock in the morning. But the wooden kingfisher is just telling you right, you are home. You go out early, early, early. Drink your coffee at a nice picnic spot. Watch all your game. Come back at like nine o'clock, ten o'clock. You're back at your camp already, and then you have a sleep, read a book. Um, walk around camp look at the birds um, we love going for a swim spending some time at the pool um, just relaxing during the afternoon and then in the evenings you go out to do you want to do you have anything else to say about the summer go in the summer <laughs> it's nice it's, it's different nice. go in each and every season, season. yeah that's also it's nice always it's, it's different. always different so is it not very expensive to travel to the Kruger so I think personally it can be expensive especially if you are a foreigner um, coming from outside of South Africa I know the park fees are very expensive for foreigners we personally have a wild card because we like going to Mukala and Addo and different parks through the year we camp most of the time we yep. don't really stay in chalets last year we did a trip where we stayed in chalets but every night we were at a different place yeah um, which can get expensive but the reason that we can go for such a long time is because we are camping 
in my opinion but you also miss a lot if you're not camping so mm -hmm. but so that's what and we felt at the beginning of the year because we did a, a seven or eight day trip uh, when we went from camp to camp each and every day so we stayed in safari tents and in uh, huts and, and so and on huts. and to, we, are, we went for eight days and now we're going for hopefully 18 days and it's going to be i think not a lot more for this trip than our uh, trip in the beginning of the year so why do you do we keep on going back to the kruger because you keep on asking to go <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been to a few places through the, throughout the country small big uh, like little gems in the country but i feel the most at home in the kruger national park yeah. that that's that's my personal opinion that's plain and simple i feel at home there i do not want to come back if i'm there like, oh, the Kruger is just a special place and I think especially because I've been going there since I was so young um, It's just such a special place in my heart What are you most looking forward to for the Kruger? The peace and quiet, the sounds of the bush I just want to relax and just enjoy the time with my lovely wife Stay with Stacy <laughs> I want to stay with Stacy I want to go to the Kruger and stay with Stacey. You don't have a choice anymore. I do not. Yeah, I do you not. don't have a choice. Is there something specific you would like to see this trip? Due to the fact that I'm quite obsessed now with the birds and uh, it's not really something you can order. You can't order a bird no, or a sighting. You and can't. That's, and that's the one thing, we will get to that get question what you actually. Choose. Um, but the one thing I really, really, really want to see, and I actually saw a, 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 a post about it this morning that someone actually saw it at the Sabe River is to see the African fin food. I really, really, really Crazy. want to see the African fin food, but it is so, so it's rare. So rare. Um, a bird that I would really like to see is the broadbill roller. Broadbill roller, I'd really love to see. And That's um, quite a tongue knopper, a broadbill roller. Broadbill roller. There we go. Um, and also a yellow-billed oxpecker. Love to oh. see that. And also animals, I would love to see a serval, which I say every year and I've never seen in the wild. What is your favorite animal to see in the Kruger? So my favorite animal to see in the Kruger is definitely a leopard. Like it's just so majestic and oh, it's just such an amazing animal. I think it's my favorite animal. Um, I love a leopard and we didn't see one this year in January when we went to the Kruger, which was heartbreaking. Um, once again, you can't order your animals. You can't say, hey, I'm coming on the 18th of December. There better be a leopard in that tree. That's not possible. Definitely, yeah. Um, you, you can't, can't order your animals. Um, but I'd love to see a leopard again. And that's my favorite animal to see in the Kruger. Um, well, I haven't lost my, my, my uh, let's say, liking in, a, in an elephant or a big male oh, lion. It's amazing. Um, actually, I, in our previous trip, I actually saw my first big male big maned male lion oh they were um, walking down the road so nice uh, next to the car in, in, the our, car. in our other car our small car so we i felt quite uh, intimidated but it's always nice to see them uh, especially like a big 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 bull elephant um, a big tusker which is I, sad that the yeah, we, doesn't have as many anymore but over the past few few months or few weeks, we have oh. seen a few posts regarding Tuskers and videos regarding Tuskers. Yeah. Uh, so to see a Tusker would be nice. But I think the the animal, or it's technically still a bird, <laughs> that gives me the the best, let's say, feeling when I see it is uh, to see a giant kingfisher oh, on, a on a bridge. Mm. Right just something, next to the car. There's just something about a giant kingfisher. Also, it's quite majestic it as is a bird. Majestic. So. I always like to see a giant kingfisher. That's, mm. that's something I, I love to see. What was one of your favorite sightings so far in the Kruger? I don't mind. So far? My favorite sighting was definitely um, one day we were, it was in October, we were with my brother, the photographer. Uh, we can my, maybe insert some photos here of the event. Insert, yeah. <laughs> Insert, yeah. Good. Um, um, and credits to Clates for taking the photos. Um, we were watching a pack of wild dogs and they were busy chasing a warthog in and out of um, Ooh, a burrow. Oh, I remember this. And it, it, that in itself was an amazing um, yeah, sighting. They but didn't, that's not the sighting. That's not the sighting. And we were the first car there. We were yes. watching them. Um, like two more cars pulled up behind us. It was in the Bergendal area, close to Stelberg turnoff. 
um, and Rikas wanted to reverse so he looked behind him and he looked to the side and he was like what that rock is busy moving yeah. and he looked again and he's like that's a pangolin and we freaked out we left the wild dog like I'm sorry like I love wild dog but I've the um, pangolin is probably a once-in-a-lifetime sighting your favorite sighting or was that it I saw my my first spookful um, and I was trying I was hunting hunting that bird for about four years since since we went to Mozambique you and hear I, it constantly I, and I heard the, the little whistle of the gray-headed bushrike for the first time but you can try your best you will almost never see or catch it or be able to to get a glimpse of it and then literally I think we left the lions and around the next turn I heard the whistle of the the bushrike and it felt like it was almost next to me in the car and I left my brake somewhere along the road there <laughs> put the car in reverse and when I looked up I literally stared straight into the the face of this great at bushrike and it was also I only took one picture then it flew off mm -hmm. I'll maybe insert it here once again not good quality <laughs> but I saw it and it has a very very special place uh, in my heart what annoys you the most about the Kruger? Leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Leaving annoys me the most of the of the Kruger. Okay, then we are we are on to the last question. What is your favorite area or camp in the Kruger? And if you are mainly going there for the game, you might say, okay, Skokugiza is a nice area, or Lower Sabi, or the area in between. Um, but I can I can only comment on the on the camps I've been to, which I've I've been there. But so far, my absolute favorite one uh, must be Bergendal. Uh, it's just uh, an overall great experience to go there. The camping Sarah. sites are amazing, right next to the fence. Camping sites, the, the people who work there, the, oh. the, just the whole vibe is, yeah. is brilliant. Um, not for disregard for any other camp, um, that's my personal, personal view. Definitely. If you are looking for more quiet and if you are a nice birder, up north we are so excited to go up north we are going right yeah. up to Punda Maria this year never been can't wait there are a lot of birds there that are on our um, our bucket list or our bird checklist that we really want to see I think that's just the one thing so if you if you do the Kruger right not like we say how we do it is right yeah but if you do it um, not driving around the entire day and not chasing sightings or chasing the big stuff and you relax and you stay up a bit later and you walk around the camp you you are almost uh, certain of seeing um, something you've never seen before and in my opinion that's the whole idea enjoy go yeah. to the bush go outside uh, enjoy our beautiful country yeah. um, I think we we have so many problems in the, in, in the country or we are every day we are made so aware of the problems in our country but, but our country also has so many so many great things and our and country and the people in our in our country are so amazing and going to the bush and um, experiencing it you actually yeah. see the beauty of not just our country but the people as well Definitely. the people are absolutely amazing so yeah I think we we are not made aware of our country in that regard enough no, you just see the bad things on the news if you if you pick up a newspaper you don't see all the good news or the good pictures mm. or yeah of our beautiful country no so i think just get out and go, go explore and experience it and experience. go experience our beautiful people but the next time we'll see you we are on the road to open camp mm, exciting stuff stay tuned and uh, if you like what you heard now please uh, like and subscribe Press a little button down here, I think somewhere around here or there. We are not sure yet. We'll make we'll a space. We'll figure it out. We'll see. Um, but we'll catch you guys in the bush. Cheers. And Bye. stay with Stacy. Stay with Stacy. And Rikas.